welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be taking you through the process of cooking for a nigerian party this is basically the behind the scenes of what happens when you prepare for a party in a nigerian home or just in a nigerian setting yeah so come along so there are different types of parties obviously for this particular one we're hosting in the home and it was for about 100 people or slightly more but you know that if you're expecting 100 people you must cook for at least 200 people yes if not the food will not go around so this was the eve of the actual party day you start by cooking the meat prepping the peppers like just make it to make things easier and faster on the actual day you can see the caterers literally trying to get all the prepping yeah i'll call it more like prepping for the party done then the women are like picking veggies just getting things ready for tomorrow yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, the chicken killer. Are you not the chicken killer? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> who, who killed the chicken? Eh? Chicken. But why you say no being? So for variety, we have chicken, we have beef, we also have good meat and fish. In the morning of the party, we start by frying akara. This will be shared around for both the people that come early and people that live in the community, like just within the estate and around. You won't believe it that within two hours, this akara actually finished. Like it looks so much, but it finished within two hours. We serve it hot for breakfast and people loved it. The next thing is for the first batch of rice to go on fire, especially because it cooks on a low fire, so it needs to go early on to take its time and cook well, then you put the next batch and so on and so forth. One key thing in this cooking is that you have to multitask. As you can see, while the rice is getting ready on one side, they're also boiling pepper for the other one and getting ready to do other tasks. This is the only way you'll be able to meet up with your food getting ready on time. Just like in a typical African cooking setting, you have to taste your food because there is no measurement of 10 grams of salt, 20 grams of curry. Tasty too! So the first batch of jollof rice is ready which is going in the cooler and Whilst that's going on, the rentals people are here and they're setting up. Obviously, it's more of like a village party kind of setting. So it's basic decor, just tents and plastic chairs, just for the local community. So this is how we packed the Akara and how it was served out. Here yeah, we are prepping for the bagel sauce, which is a bean soup or sauce. Yeah, bean soup that is used for amala. Whilst doing that, the next batch of rice is on fire, and you can see another pot, which is again multitasking. So this is actually what the soup looks like. So yeah, I think soup is more appropriate, but it's called bakery. Now the wedu goes on fire, and yeah, on the other hand, 
returning the jar of rice. Like I said, everything is about multitasking. So all through the video, you'll be seeing them multitasking and making the different foods at the same time. So we're turning the Iwido in preparation for them to whisk it. They added dry fish to the bakery, which is like the little brown particles you're seeing at the bottom of it. And that's being served in the tableware. Here yeah, they are prepping for the moi moi. They've added oil to the bean mixture and then they'll be adding fish and the fish water. Just the different spices you need for succulent moi moi. Just by the looks of it, I know you can tell that this moi moi is about to be bomb and yeah, it was actually delicious. You know, we are putting the things in this. This is your station. On this side, you have them prepping for the drinks, so just keeping them to the drinks that need chilling actually. So they're just keeping them in these drums with ice block to make sure they're cool for the day. It's not your, your branch, is there. I'm just trying to assist them. He means three of him. <laughs> This sticks from the leaves is what they use at the bottom or the base of the pot to cook the moi moi just so that they won't get in contact with water. Now you can see the professionals packing this moi moi in such a skillful way. Now they are making the sauces for all the proteins, which is basically the meat, the chicken, and all of that. The sauce that they will use to cut it. Next thing, we pack them up into coolers in preparation for serving. Checking up on the moi moi, which they are actually almost done wrapping. It looks so beautiful, like this is an actual work of art, guys. The guests have arrived, if not all, most of them. And I'll just give a sneak peek into what an actual home party looks like. Whilst the guests eat, or just a little bit after they've eaten, 
comes the dancing the celebrant comes to the front floor and like friends and family come and rejoice with them on the dance floor there's a lot of dancing and well wishes
great celebration thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one